Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm really excited about Christmas. <laughs> um, and I'm so excited that I definitely need to show you how to make some bauble cupcakes. Uh, you can't put these on your tree. It's probably better to eat them, but they're still really cool. So what you're going to need is some cupcakes. I've used a Christmas flavor cupcakes. And if you want to see how to make those, then click on the link here. I've got some red sugar paste. You can do it any color you like, but I like red because it's well Christmassy. I'm going to pop a little bit of corn flour down on my board just so it doesn't stick. And then using a non-stick rolling pin, I want to roll them out, just turning every now and then, not flipping, but turning until he's about half a centimeter thick. And now I've got the coolest thing in the world. So this is a kind of stencil and you can get these at specialist cake decorating shops and I'm going to show you the coolest trick ever. So pop it on your sugar paste, get your rolling pin and then just starting nearest to you, rolling away from you, just one quite firm roll and what's going to happen is all the sugar paste is going to kind of pop through a little bit. Now we're going to get some gold luster dust and do something really cool with it. And luster dust, you can get this also at cake decorating shops. It's just a really super, super fine pearlized dust. Um, this one's gold. You can get them in silver and white and all kinds of colors. I'm just going to get a brush and just brush it over the stencil, basically, until you've covered all the holes. And it, it's completely edible, um, it's edible dust, so don't worry about that. It's just super great for cake decorating. So when you've covered your stencil, just you'll have a bit of excess dust on there, just give it a blow. And then, very carefully, starting at one side, pull it off, oh my god, to reveal the coolest gold pattern ever. Ta-da! So using a pastry cutter that kind of fits just over your cupcake like that, chomp out two. You can probably get two if you go corner to corner. And then give it a little twist. And then do the other side. And then just get rid of that. We can roll that up and use it again. So these are going to be the base for our baubles, but we need to ice some cupcakes first so that it sticks on. <laughs> so I've got brandy buttercream. And I'm just going to use a little bit all over the cake, but not quite to the edge, so to about there, because you don't want it to smush out too much. Okay, so put it down, and then gently pick up your little snazzy disc, and really gently, and try and get it right in the middle, just lay it over the top using the fatty part of your thumb, because it's like squishy and soft. Don't rub it, because you'll rub that lovely luster dust off. Just very gently, just pat it. So, to make it a bauble, we're gonna need something else. So I've just got a little knob of sugar paste, and I'm just gonna um, roll it slightly onto my board, so it's a kind of sausage. And it's okay if the end of it's nice and round, but I'm gonna chop the end off, so it's straight at one end. Just get rid of that. And then, I want to shape it a little bit. So keeping, keeping one end nice and round, I'm just pinching the bottom here because I want it to kind of attach itself to the bauble in a bit of a smoother way. So I'm just going to make a little squeeze here. I've also got some kind of goldy color sugar paste. Roll it out and then get your luster dust again and make this a bit more jazzy. So luster dust all over that. And then I'm using this little daisy cutter. It's, like a, it's called a plunger cutter because it's got a plunger in it. Just chomp down, give it a little shuffle, and then pop them out like that. And then using some edible glue, just brush it lightly. You don't want to go crazy on the, um, on the glue. And then get your little nobble and pop it. And then just gently push the petals up so that they're kind of embracing <laughs> the little red guy. Okay, so he's ready to go and you just need to stick a bit more glue on the bottom of it and then pop him on the cupcake into position. So here it is, 
a really cool Christmas bauble, which is much tastier than a glass bauble, don't try eating them. Um, and you don't just have to do this, rather than stenciling it, you can decorate them with royal icing, and if you want to know how to make royal icing and then use it as well, then click on the cupcake now. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos by me, then please do subscribe to my channel, it's totally awesome. And if you want to make some comments, please comment in the comments box below, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you! Happy Christmas! If you want to subscribe to my channel, then click subscribe now.